Well, Tammy, more than 30 people from Asheville got on a bus this morning to come here to protest against proposed judicial changes. And for those folks to get here on time, they had to get up early. Some woke up as early as 4 a.m. to take a pre-dawn bus to the Capitol. Demanding representation, integrity, and prosperity. Their day started with a sheer show of numbers and a press conference. Now listen to the diversity of who's here to beat the drum of justice. Several political activist groups contributed to the crowd, including about three dozen people from Asheville. Like Esselstyn says, the state's Republican legislators are tired of losing court cases, so they want to change the rules. If a team continuously is, is losing, um, instead of trying to get the team to improve, they're trying to pick new refs. A bill that passed the House changes the state's judicial districts. Buncombe County currently has one sheriff, one DA, and one courthouse, but the House bill splits the county into two judicial districts. One Buncombe County Superior Court judge called the districts gerrymandering, and some in this crowd agree. Oh, for sure. No question. This is ridiculous. They already have done that with the legislative districts, and now they're doing it again. It's, it's wrong. <laughs> Legislators tell us they don't expect the redistricting legislation or talks of eliminating judicial elections to come up this session. No matter, the Asheville group wanted to let lawmakers know this issue matters to them. It's so important, and it's it's like the last leg of our of our governmental system where we just keep partisaning everything. Partisaning, that's a word I just made up, but it works, you know, and it's garbage. It's garbage. The author of the House bill says the state's judicial system is overdue for redistricting. Representative Justin Burr says the change to Buncombe County is to make it more in line with the state's other urban counties, which have multiple judicial districts. And those folks are on their way back to Asheville right now, riding that bus. Before leaving, they met with the Buncombe County delegation. Live in Raleigh, Aaron Adelson, News 13.